Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today I'm going to tell you my top 5 women's fragrance that men can wear. So I'm not super knowledgeable in women's fragrance. I don't have a huge woman fragrance collection that I wear, but I still have came across a couple of women fragrance and some of them that I even worn and would say that are really masculine and easy for men to wear. Sometimes it happens that the there's the opposite. A man fragrance that I think is really feminine. Now it's the feminine one for that are masculine. So number five is less known fragrance I should say. It's Silences by Giacomo. And it's been a long time I've smelled it. I tried it. It smelled like oak moss but a huge amazing blast of oak moss like breeding oak moss and there's other stuff in there but it's it's oak moss mostly and the thing with oak moss is it's not necessarily like masculine because it was used in fragrance in that era of silences everywhere in like from the 60s to the 80s but nowadays i would say that it's more masculine than feminine. Also, I would say probably all the women's fragrance from the 60s to the 80s were probably more masculine than most fragrance for men nowadays. But that's another story. Anyway, number five, Silences by Giacomo. Number four is Cabochard by Gré. It's really the old school fragrance. And the first time I've been wearing it, I genuinely thought it was a fragrance for men. There was a little bow tie in the bottle. I mean, it's for men. Obviously, I've read about it and realized that it was a woman's fragrance. And for me, it was a really nice tobacco, leather, oak moss, old school fragrance. It was really amazing and one, it's one of the best fragrance I've ever smelled. It's just great. Now the new Cabasha have a lot of ylang ylang into it. It's not as nice as it used to be in there. It's still wearable by men. But I don't think I would put it in the top five. I would put it in top five for lack of better fragrance to put instead of it. But yeah, the old one is the one that is number four. Number three. And this time is not a discontinued fragrance. Silences is not discontinued. But uh, Kabasha, the old one, is. So, number three is Black Orchid by Tom Ford. Which, for me, is more of a man fragrance. I think that it's more masculine. It's, I have a similar vibe than uh, the fragrance I'm gonna say, like even a similar smell, but I think it's more masculine than Bad Boy by Carolina Herrera. Even if you take Bad Boy Parfum, it, that doesn't have the same like smell, but it's more masculine than both of these fragrances, even though it's considered a woman's fragrance. And it's probably also the most worn woman's fragrance by men. Talking about Tom Ford, I'm going to put an honorable mention that is just there as an honorable mention because a lot of people will disagree with me as another fragrance that's a woman's fragrance that is wearable by men and it's Ombre Leather because I'm Ombre Leather for me is really a woman's fragrance but I think it's wearable by men. Obviously, since a lot of guys think it's a men's fragrance. Number two, this one is really, purely, really marketed as a woman's fragrance, sadly discontinued or at least... It's what it seems. Velvet Teddy by MAC. And Velvet Teddy is not a cologne, but pretty much a cologne of Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford. And for me, it's a really nice tobacco kind of clubbing fragrance because of its power. It's really masculine. Tobacco for me, it's more of a man's fragrance note. And it's really one of the intense things in that fragrance. And it might be why. It's discontinued since it was marketed for women, and maybe women also were thinking it's more masculine. You know, it's great fragrance. It's better than uh, tobacco vanille, in a way, if you have a chance to get it. Maybe not too expensive. I think it was like $25 for a bottle at a time, retail price. So I wouldn't go at crazy price over $100, but still it's a good scent. And number one, light blue by Dolce & Gabbana. I wouldn't say like it's a feminine fragrance or masculine fragrance, but it's really easily wearable for men. For me, it's more of a unisex fragrance. It smells not sour, but not uh, ripe. Apple, it's really nice, really unique. Even me, I made a fragrance with that profile before actually released. Before I, I smell, I mean, this fragrance. It was a men's fragrance for me. And the, the smell of apple, it's not 
like masculine or feminine in any way. It's just that for me, it occurs more as a men fragrance, and definitely it's really easy for a man to wear it. It's there's nothing that makes you think it's a woman's fragrance except the fact that they sell it as such. Also, I heard a lot of men say that they prefer this version than the men's version. So that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If it's case, well, like and share. And if there's a woman's fragrance that you really enjoy to wear, put in the comment which one it is. So thanks for watching and see you soon.